morning children. How are you? Okay, now we are doing final accounts. And in the last video, you must you must have watched it. Uh, we did how to you know draft a trading account. What all goes into trading account? What do you mean by direct expenses? Yeah, why we subtract clothing stock from there? Yes. So and what is gross profit or gross gross loss? So here <coughs> we are doing one sum where we have been asked to find out the closing stock and all other things are given to us like opening stock, purchase, return upward, freight, freight is carriage kind of, freight inward says return inward and gross loss, now gross loss, okay. So now let us find out closing stock. There are two ways, you either can use the cost of goods sold formula or you can <coughs> Prepare the trading account also, right? If I prepare the trading account, where do you think I should put opening stock? Obviously on the debit side. Yes, I will write here to opening stock. 38,000. And we have purchases. And purchase return also, isn't it? So 3 lakh 40,000 is purchase. Return outward is purchase return. Less returns 4,000. So this is 3 lakh 36,000 net purchases. Hmm? Opening stock plus net purchases. Direct expenses. Freight. Inward. If it is inward, it is direct. If it is outward, it is indirect. Okay, so inward I take here. In the trading account, then we have sales. Okay, sales is my income. I put it here 360,000. There's returns. Return inward is sales return. So 5,000. Three lakh fifty-five thousand. That's my net sales. And I have a gross loss. We have seen that if income is more and expense is less, we will get a cost profit, which obviously the balance have come here because the expense side is less, income is more. So obviously the gross loss, which is the opposite of gross profit, meaning expenses are more, incomes are less. So gross loss would come here. Now, we are also supposed to find out the value of closing stock. This will be my last balancing figure, which I have not put right now. I am putting it here, then gross loss, because I believe that should be the last figure there. Let us find out. Gross loss is given here as 20,000. So the only missing figure is closing stock. Are you getting it now? So if you have the concept of trading account, you can find out any missing figure here. Anything can be given as missing. Opening stock can be given as missing or loss or gross profit or closing stock. So you have to just put the other figures in place. So it is 38, 36 and 26. 6, 6, 12, 20, 2 carry 5, 7, 8, 9, 10. This is 4 lakhs, right? 4 lakhs um, and this is 20, so 3 lakh 80. This is 3 lakh 75,000. So 25,000 is closing stock. I've subtracted this two from 4 lakhs. Correct? Total of this 4 lakhs minus 20 minus 3,55. 25,000 is the value of my closing stock. Alright? So, I hope this is clear. Gross loss will come here. If it were a gross profit, it would have come here. I was saying something about the formula. What is the formula? Let us find out the, you know, the elements, the relationship between the various elements in the trading account, which is very, very important. Here, we are talking about gross profit or gross loss, isn't it? Now, gross profit is equal to sales minus cost. And here, we talk about cost of goods sold. Okay? What is cost of goods sold? Meaning, how much did we spend on getting those goods ready which we could sell eventually? 
there is one you know closing stock which we could not sell 25000 worth of goods we are we have ready it we have manufactured it or purchased it but we could not sell so that is not a part of my cost this year this cost is in trading account trade tax balance also the cost of goods sold is opening stock plus net purchases plus direct expenses minus closing stock okay this formula we already discussed in trial balance once again because this is so important opening stock plus net purchases isn't this net purchases purchase minus returns is net purchases plus direct expenses meaning this this is a direct expense there might be other factory related expenses also which can be direct wages manufacturing expenses factory heating and lighting fuel power all those can be added here so you are seeing that all of this we have added and we have subtracted closing stock see subtracted meaning put on the credit side so this this and this added minus this subtract correct this is my cost of goods sold sales is here sales minus cost of goods sold will give me either gross profit or gross loss no it depends on how much is sale and how much is cost isn't it so this relationship and this formula is very important so if i did not do this suppose i just use this formula now gross loss gross loss is equal to cost of goods sold c o g s minus sales because cost is more and sales is <coughs> less is it it so gross loss is given to me cost of goods sold i can put all of this together except closing stock because that was missing and sales is also given to me so all other things given sales is to be sorry closing stock is to be found out you could have used the formula also right so let us take one more sum where we do this kind of jelly next question says calculate gross profit and cost of goods sold c o g s cost of goods sold from the following net sales is given and gp ratio is 40% now understand what is gp is gross profit ratio okay gross profit ratio generally would mean gross profit by sales in 200 meaning what percentage of the sales total sales is gross profit 40% okay gross profit ratio when it is given it is sales sometimes it is specified that it is okay 40% on sales it might be given but in some cases it might be given 40% on cost so you will have to you know check this 40% of what they have given us gross profit all right so in this sum if nothing is mentioned it means of course on sales all right so let us find out gross profit then gross profit is equal to 40% of sales okay so 40% of 8 lakhs 3 lakh 20 lakhs gross profit cost of goods sold is sales minus gross profit correct so sales is 8 lakhs minus 3 lakh 20000 so it is uh, 5 4 lakh 80000 how did i get this same formula gross profit is sales minus cost so cost is what sales minus gross profit correct so this is how you need to know the relationship between sales gross profit cost what is gross profit ratio and then what is the formula of cost of goods sold so that you can find the various elements next up something calculate closing stock from opening stock is this purchase sales and gross profit is 30% on cost okay cost will always mean cost of goods sold okay it's never on purchases or anything because cost means the entire cost which has gone into getting the goods ready for sold for sales okay so now on cost cost is or i don't know cost because without knowing cost closing stock i not be able to find out but i can take cost of goods sold alex 
Alright. So whatever x is plus gp meaning 30% of x will give me sales. That's the relationship because cost of goods sold plus gp is sales. Isn't it? So instead of cost I have taken x. So this is if I do x is 19,50,000 divided by 130 into 100. Okay? 1, 5, 15 lakhs. Yeah. So, cost of goods sold is 15 lakhs. Alright? So, 15 lakhs is your cost of goods sold. Now, this we have got. And now we have other things. And we already know that cost of goods sold is equal to opening stock plus net purchases minus, okay, I'll put direct expenses also, minus closing stock. This formula we just done. Now, children, not in all sums, you might be given everything. Okay, here no direct expenses are given. So this, although it is there in the formula, since I do not have the figures, I'll take it to be zero here because it's not given. Purchases is given just purchases. So I assume this is net purchases. Okay, so those things will be there. So cost of goods sold, which is 15 lakhs, is equal to opening 4 lakh 80,000 plus 13 lakh 60,000 purchase minus closing stock. So if I take stock here, closing stock is equal to this plus this, it is 40,000. 18 lakh 18, 40 thousand minus 15 lakh okay this comes here so 3 lakh 40 thousand is your closing stock here 3 lakh 40 thousand so this is it hmm? so using this formula you need to understand how to work around it i just told you a few things might not be given so you will assume that to be that and this was very important that it is 30% on cost. Now if you take 30% on sales here, it will be wrong. So please be very clear what is the GP ratio given as. Okay. So practice such more sums, a lot of sums in the book. And uh, get a you know, strong hold over it. So I think this is uh, good enough for trading account. Next we can move on to the next segment of final accounts which is profit and loss account. In the next video, take care. Bye-bye.